So please, my darlings, subscribe to Sparkings TV on YouTube and you will be glad you did. You will thank me later. Is this it? That is it. That is it. The energy I'm talking about, a particular negative energy so strong, it is even very, very close upon your household as we speak. The thing now is not just that a particular pull or hold from one angle, no. But from various angles, as many as possible angles. I don't understand, Obivie. Uh -huh. How do you mean? <sighs> My dear Prince, things look alike, but they may not finally be the same. Certain decisions taken already, though proven to be very, very effective and of course the best, might revolve around and turn out to come with repercussions. If you're confused, talk to me in clear times. If you talk to me in details, I need your help. I need you to help me fight. I need to protect my family, my sister, the kingdom. With you, please. I'm confused. My prince. Yes. Eke lolo eke. In human life, there is this division of labor. I am a priest. I am not a seer. He's a well-known seer in this land, even beyond the land. So he could be, not cool, he is in a better position to explain this to you. Wow, they really did a number on me. Yes, it hurts me the first time, but now I think I'm fine. I am good. I still don't understand, but okay, we'll there. Why are you so adamant about this girl? Huh? Why are you back for this girl to the extent that you will sit beating because of her? Why? A lot of things. A lot. Especially getting to know how fleetly they are. Yet they have the guts to point their fingers to someone else. Field. Yes. I, I don't understand. Can you explain? I make you won't understand. And when have I not understood anything you said to me before? Huh? Give. You will be best friends. And we practically tell each other every single thing. So why are you provoking me by hiding things away from me? This is what? What is this big secret? I've got you questioning my loyalty. I am what? not questioning your loyalty. I know you're very loyal. But in this case, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> God, really? All right, all right, if you insist. I will tell you everything. Yes. He wants to unravel the mystery. Does the present dream have any link with what is happening now? I see pain. I see anguish. I see betrayal. I see forbidden love. A man who is walking through a river filled with crocodiles is like walking on a pin. You need to be careful, hence you fall and giving food to the animals. <sighs> May I tell you? That Obwefi Amilum was the one who told me to consult you. 
that you would help me solve these problems. And that is what I've done, my dear. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, you have confused me even more. For you speak to me in parables. Talk to me. In Platons. So many things are beyond you, my young prince. And that is why I have great men like you to help me walk through it all. Please, don't disappoint me. Talk to me. The young man is agitated. Look at his face. The forces of the dark, which could have been prevented, are already you, Romeo. Taking root in depth in your household. You fear for them taking root in your household? They have already. What are you saying? What are you talking about? Her stubbornness will bring so many things to this kingdom. And her quest for control will ruin peace. Evil locks in that beautiful face that grace your morning. Don't you ever get tired? my job. I've delivered my message as simple as I could. I beg to take my leave. My brother is just too impossible. How could he go to the extent of investigating such a nice man. How? You know, sometimes I feel he's just too backward and unlettered. I may disagree with you on this one. Your brother is only being protective, and I perfectly understand that. Protective over what? What sort of protection is that? I'm sorry, but I do not need it. Because I am healthy and good, capable enough to take care of myself. Just cut your brother some slacks. He is your family. And if he doesn't feel comfortable with people whom you call friends, of course he would intervene. Yes. Fine. He should only intervene when it's necessary, not when it isn't. For crying out loud, Alphonsus is a nice man. Very good man. And I bet you that no one can take care of me the way he does. No one at all. What if there are some truths to what he is saying? There is no truth. No truth at all. He's obviously been brainwashed by those hidden men. They are of no good. Just because you don't believe in the gods doesn't mean everything about the ancient ways are evil. Some who practice the ancient ways are more upright than many so-called men of God. I don't get this. Seriously? Why does it sound as if you're not far from your husband? No matter what religion I practice, I don't judge people with their belief. Everyone has the right to their freedom of worship and belief. Yes, my princess, I really think you should listen to your brother. You know what, my beautiful Joy? I am so sorry to have brought up this discussion because obviously you are not the right person for this. You're not. Please, keep quiet before I change my opinion about you. I'm sorry, my princess. I don't see anything wrong in this. Son, you want to kill your sister simply because she doesn't support what you're doing. Mother, she does not have to support me. She can have her opinion. 
But let her keep her opinion to herself and stop insulting men rooted in our cultural and traditional values as a people. But you can still get her to do that without making her suffocated. Please. Don't make this difficult for me. What is going on around here? What is even wrong with Harriet at these days? What is happening? Why can she not see what is right before her? But there's nothing wrong. Yes, this man might look suspicious. But he's a good man. And they look good together. Ah, oh, mother. Mother for once. For once, mother. I plead with you to look beyond money and the partnership that this man will strike with the company. Mother, I need you to see beyond that. I have a feeling. I have a strong feeling, mother. The vibe that I get from this man stand right before I met him in person. Mother, I have never felt this way about any man that had come into this premises before. Not even Kevin. Son, I am not saying that I don't believe you. I do. But... I think that um, this negative energy is being misdirected. Because of the contempt you have for this man, you seem to direct all this energy towards him. Just look at it that way. Well, I have come to the conclusion that it's actually meaningless. And almost useless trying to get to you and my sister matter but I'm not giving up mother I will not give up until I unravel this mystery and mysterious air locking around this palace I will not give up something is wrong I can feel it I can feel it mother something is wrong Mabodo. I'm so happy. Yeah. I've never been so proud of anyone as I am proud of you today. Mm. Now I know you love me beyond measures. And no matter what stories they cook up against me, you will never doubt me. Never will I. Not in my life. I, I love you so much. I believe you ten times over than anyone in this life. And I'll never doubt you in my life. Hmm. I'm glad. Now I know I have your unsolicited support. Mm. Darling. Mm. I think it is time to take this to the next level. What do you mean by next level? Sit. Okay, sit down. Mm. Listen, darling. <clears throat> I think... It is time for me to put the ring on that finger. Before destroy us all, well. destroy what we have. <laughs> My baby, isn't that so soon? I mean, we, we barely... Barely know each other. What else do you think I need to know? I already know everything I need to know, and even more. Okay? All you have to do is say yes. And I'll be there with my people to take you home. <laughs> you want us to get married. Isn't that what you want, princess? That is what we want. <laughs> I really love you. And I love you too. It is good that things are going as planned, except for that stupid prince. If he keeps butting into my plans like a lunatic, I will have to go the extreme. But I have to play it nice and cool. I'm just you wait, my princess. By the time you know what's happening, you will be begging for a way out. Um, 
And what is it again you told me that you two want to, want to do? Get married to your sister, the princess. <laughs> I suppose uh, that both of you have discussed this before now. Oh yes, we have. As a matter of fact, on many occasions. And so I said to myself, why the hell not? You see, I like her so much. And so I have to do what I must do. I want to spend the rest of my waking moments. But you, next to me as my wife. Because I love you so much, darling. Oh, please. Um, I crave your indulgence. Please, I would like to have a word with her in private, if you don't mind. Oh, I do not mind. I will be in the waiting room. It's fine. I'll see you, darling. All right. Mm. Mm. Hi. I'll be with you shortly. You cannot marry him. What the hell do you mean by, I cannot marry him? Are you on drugs? As you can see, I'm not on drugs. Obviously you are. Because you're not making any sense. You're not. I told you, I love this man. I want to marry him. I mean, why can't I marry him? He is not good for you. That's why. Another God's feeling of yours. How many times have I told you that I do not give a damn about your God feelings? Open your eyes and wait. I need you to listen to me. I need you to hear me deeply. That young man is not who he portrays himself to be. That is not the man of your dreams that he claims to be. If he were to be the man of your dreams, he would not be making plans to harm you. No. Ever. You're wrong. I'm not. Now listen to me. I know Alphonsus very well. I know what he can do and what he cannot do. You are obviously the one who doesn't know shit about him, yet you're making a big deal out of everything. Why is it like that? I mean, why don't you want my happiness? Why? What wrong have I done to you? You're using your, your stupid sentiment and belief to destroy my one true chance of being happy. Why? Your assumptions of me are not true. They are true. Of course they are. You and your fetish way will not allow me to be happy. Father literally smothered me all my life because of this same stupid fetish belief. And here you are trying to do the same to me? For what? Why don't you want me to be happy? Why is it like that? I mean, it's high time you people understood that you cannot dictate my life for me. You can't. Your choices for me are of wrong and never for good. I am not choosing for you. I am protecting you. From what? From who exactly? If only you can step out of this medieval age you're stuck in, then you begin to understand life and exactly the way it goes. Narrator. My sister. I love you. I vow to you this day on my honor that I love you. But I will not let Sentiments and your recourse to emotions weaken me. I want the best for you and the best I will give to you. Trust me. What is this? I don't know you like this. Why would you reach?
reject food because of a man? No. I know that what your brother is doing is not right. But with this, it will not solve anything. Your attitude will not change anything. He won't change his mind either. Honestly, Mom, I do not wish to talk to anybody. I want to be left alone. How long? How long do you want to be left alone? Why do you want to shut everyone out of your life? Mother, I'm not shutting anyone out of my life. Nobody is driving me crazy with everything that he's doing. He's pushing me to the wall. He's making it seem as if our first source is some sort of a serial killer. But of course not, Mother. He's a good man. He's a good man. He loves me and I love him too. I know that you love him. But you should also understand your brother's point of view. Your brother is the head of this house. With the absence of your father, he's in charge of every life, including yours. But mother, come on. You can actually override him in some things. Perhaps you can talk to him. Let him understand that I, I truly love this man. I love him with everything I've got, mother. If I do not marry him, I will die. I know. Okay, do you promise me if I could talk to your brother on your behalf, you come inside and eat food? Mother, the most important thing to me right now is for you to talk to him. I'm, I'm not even hungry. I will talk to him. So do you promise to eat? I'll, I'll do that upstairs. I'll ask the medicine to bring food for you upstairs. But right now, we need to go in. Okay? All right, thank you, Mom. You are going with me, sweetheart. I love you. I know. Ah. Enemies, you cannot tell who is your friend or who is the enemy. I they are what's in the protection. They will laugh at you, but deep inside your heart is evil. So be careful who you call your friend and who you share your secret with. I, cause life is a game, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. It's life is a land of games. Life is a game, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. So be careful who you call your friend. Life is a game, it's a game, it's a game, it's a game. Be careful who you call your friend. Life is a game, it's a game, it's a game, This is the land of game. Some good friends turn out to be bad. Why some bad?